Hey, what is going on guys? This is my 1994 Dodge Ram 2500. I recently got a topper and decided to turn it into a truck camper. Um, so let's go a little bit over a couple things I've done. I have put in a two, it's kind of dark. Turn the exposure up a little. Two lithium ion batteries with a 3000 watt inverter. Right now, charging my flashlight battery. And a solar panel up there. It's 100 watts. Um, then I wired in a couple other things. When the truck is started, this blue wire runs through my other batteries. And it's a little breaker that I can turn on to charge the batteries while I'm driving. So yeah, two lithium ion, they're 100 amp hour batteries. Um, and the 3000 watt inverter. They're about 180 each. And we'll come back here. And this is the truck camper. I need a longer bed, a couple things I just Got to need a longer bed, um, some camera gear, my bed, cooler, you know, some storage stuff up there. My one of my uh, stovetop propane grills, top or whatever. But um, did the this and the sides. I know the sides and everything look like crap, but I need to get a bed rug for the bottom to do. The rest is like $400 or so. So we're gonna get a bed rug soon. We're gonna get a longer bed. Uh, this is an eight foot bed too. So definitely have the room, single cab. So a lot of stuff I'll be storing under this. Um, like right now I got my fan, some water, some extra blankets and pillows. But yeah, we got these five lights. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Got five lights that I leave the controller over here. So before I get in, I said I'm white. Kind of brightens it up. Put the moth on. It's still daytime. It's about it's 5:24. So yeah, let's let's get in and show you exactly what I got going on in here. Uh, just a little heater. It's 1,500 watts. I can't. Well, right now we are connected to a power here at a state park but like I said once I get up in here yeah I know it's a little mess I got when I painted this black it got a little over but see and I can I can fit fairly comfortable in here too I'm six four six five around that but yeah so with this turns these off I can turn them off and then I got LED lights that I wired in down here into a switch that tells the volts and everything on my battery. And turn the Turn that down a little bit, yeah. That definitely brights it up in here. And um, definitely makes it a lot better. Um, some kitchen stuff. Knives, cutting boards, spatula stuff, pots and pans, silverware, plates, cups. Um, just some top ramen, some buns for dinner, some aluminum foil. Um, toiletry stuff, miscellaneous. Uh, so I got some Velcro. I hung up my smoke detector and, and carbon monoxide detector. And then down here we got some butane, some propane, lighters, matches that are sealed, water sealed tight, um, some tools, miscellaneous stuff. Over here we got a brand new tarp just in case. Pillows, blankets, the bed. I can um I can charge type C and USB off this. So yeah. Um got like I said, camera gear, an iPad, I'll be watching some videos on later. I do have a portable table out there that 
unfolds and I'll usually have it here but I actually have some people that I'm camping with he also trucks camps in his Chevy and we got Starlink out there um, I'm not gonna pull the trigger on a Starlink I'm actually gonna get what it's called is a home fi I'm gonna try that so I'm gonna try that and if that don't work then I'll get a Starlink but yeah it works great out here don't get any cell service and that works and then the other buddy that's here is a tent guy with a wood stove so yeah they camp out here with us with me I camp out here with them whatever but yeah there any truck camps he tents and yeah um, my first video of truck camping it's gonna be a little weird I really don't video myself it's I can't video in front of people they went to town to grab a couple more things so I'm out here by myself recording um, I picked this up today yeah it's a uh, uses the big propane one and I have the other one under the bed that actually takes the butane cans it's a uh, Coleman but I just seen this and let's, let's kick it on Grab this lighter. Uh, actually, I'll grab this lighter that I have over here. Works a little bit better, but yeah. Uh, let's turn off the light so you can see that. But yeah, that's on low. You can go up to high and get it really cooking. Um, left for heat. Got the. Uh, space heater and then I also have a buddy heater up front whenever you're running propane cooking or sleeping with a buddy heater make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector and a smoke I have a smoke alarm just in case too you never know but yeah I, there's a couple other things I want to get done I'm gonna be doing redoing the truck on the outside this uh, upcoming summer it's Jan February right now so let's uh, show you how it looks from over here out here doesn't look too bad at the, you know it's just I built it a weekend and like I said the upper carpet looks you know not the best but it works right but yeah it is a 1994 single cab Dodge Ram 2500 with the 12 valve matched with the 5 speed I want to repaint everything, so it's Mitch Mash right now. It's got different, three different colors. It's got the factory, a blue that I thought was the factory, and then the top are red. Can't decide if I want to go. <clears throat> oh, and then the hood's also the same color as that. But don't know if I want to go a black or a red. Definitely not going to be that red. It's going to be a brighter red. But I was thinking blacker for stealth. But grill needs to be put back on. I got my. Uh, block heater diesel 12 valve, you know, so it's a son of a gun starting it in the winter But yeah, we're out here. That's his Got a little lot kind of to ourselves um, We'll be Cooking it up later on and I'll record and you know right now we got the fire going in the solo stove and he got his wood stove and I'm here watching it. Got some speaker wood, you know. And yeah. Got this little lot to ourselves. Like I said, we're out here February 3rd, I think it is. So not a lot of people out here. I think it's just us. But yeah. Well, uh, as the night goes down, we'll let the sun drop. Um, do a couple other things around the camp. And we'll get some dinner cooking, and then later on I'll watch a video and whatnot. Um, so yeah, looks pretty good. All right, we're in here for a little. Uh, we're gonna sit around and watch some uh, watch some videos while we wait for the sun to drop more and it to get darker. And then we'll get uh, some dinner cooking, and yeah, that'll pretty much be our night. So, put you guys down for a little, little while. I'm gonna get some videos going, some watch. Like I said, that Starlink out there helps a lot. 
So we're gonna watch some other YouTubers like Crazy Quady, all of his videos, and then Mav. Those two inspire, inspired me to do this, and I've always wanted to do it. So yeah, let's. Uh, we're gonna sit back, watch some videos, and then we'll get some supper cooking later. Um, try out the new stove, the burner, and yeah, we're gonna be making some uh, Swift burgers and a baked potato with some cheese and sour cream. So yeah, so, we're gonna hang back. All right, update: we're doing outside. Got some steaks going. Uh, grab the light and. A baked potato down there, and then yeah, so cooking. We'll get it done, and then I'll hang out for the rest of the night. I know I didn't really record much from when we had our supper, our steaks, and I made my baked potato. But uh, pretty much what happened was, had our food, went into the buddy's tent, and we played out, played some games, card games, and drank some. So uh, we all decided to hit the hay and get some sleep. We're going to be here tomorrow, too. So that being said, I'm going to actually get some shut-eye, got the heater going, got my fan. You know, I'm one of those people that can't sleep with fan without fans, so... Gonna get some shut eye and we'll wake up early. Uh, didn't really bring anything for breakfast, so we'll probably just make some top ramen soup for breakfast or have the uh, have the wife bring something out and then I'll make some breakfast. But that being said, um, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, morning guys, it's about 10.30. I pretty messed up last night, so, um, I haven't eaten nothing, so let's, uh, we're going to make some ramen noodles. So, yeah, let's make some. Make some ramen noodles on the new stove top. So yeah. The water is boiling. Let's get the ramen made. So you actually have to. Let's, let's put all this ingredients in the flavoring, the sauce. And I actually drink the water, so I tend to add all this and then just leave it all, all in. So. My hand's in the way, I'm sorry. There we 
go. We'll just add the water and then we'll be good. Probably just leave that down there and then we'll add the water there. Yeah, it definitely, um, it gets, it gets quite toasty in here. Like I said, that little, um, <clears throat> space heater does wonders back here. And I still have some gaps, as you can see. There's bigger gaps. I, uh, put new, uh, tailgate rubbers and bushings and all that in. Um, definitely gonna have to seal that up. Well, it's, it's a boiling, so... Give it a couple seconds longer and then we'll add it. I'm not sure. Let's put you guys back on the tripod. While I do this part. So it's gonna be hard. Some heat that gets pushed off this. Alright, let's go ahead and turn it off. I'll just carefully add in our hot boiling water. And then we'll actually set our, we'll set the, the lid on it. Set that down there, let it cool down. Put this back. Well, that's doing its thing. I know my videos aren't the best right now, but I'm still getting, still getting used to them. So we'll probably, um, probably sit here and um, eat some. I, I guess you could call it lunch. We'll eat some lunch, and then we'll uh, watch little videos. Some of, the, some of the guys I was camping with had something to go to for a couple hours today, so I'm pretty much here by myself. Tent's still up, but he's not here. I'm here pretty much by myself, so we'll just uh, hang around. I got the, the wife and kid coming out today for a little, so I'll see them, and yeah. We'll let this cook, and then we'll watch some videos and eat, and then I'll... I'll get back with you guys when we, either they get here or the wife gets here, you know. So, yeah. Alright, all right, my noodles should be done.
pretty good. I haven't had ramen noodles like this. I don't think I've ever had ramen noodles in a bowl like this. Usually I get the packs where you put it in a bowl, but this is pretty good. I'm going to finish this up and sit back, relax, watch some videos, and, yeah, get back to you when I can. Alright, it's uh, we're gonna make our next meal. I put the cord through the little screen, it's better so I can not worry about it. It could be behind the table. I'm gonna set the table up and then we're gonna get to uh, we're gonna cook some um, mushroom swish swifts burgers and uh, we're gonna have some chips with it. So let's get you guys on the track real quick. This table set up and see I wish my camera lens would zoom back better. Alright, let's get this set up. It's a pretty nifty camping table. Just undo the side things and then it opens. Make sure you clip them in. Open the legs. All the way. Quick. Boom. Just like that. Okay, let's get the Mushrooms. Got this cool nifty uh, kitchen set from Amazon. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Comes with a bunch of stuff. Can opener, some knives, got a cutting board, got a knife, um, spatulas and whatnot in there too, ladle, spoon, well spoons came with a different kit but we're going to use the cutting board, knife and spatula, and we're going to cut up some uh, pretty sharp knives too, we're going to cut up some mushrooms here. I'm going to kind of do this so I can re-close them because I know I'm not going to use them all. So, I'm going to kind of open it so I can re-close them if I can. And it looks like I might be able to. At least I can get a couple out. These are already washed. So, let me get it just to... Let's get a couple out. That should be good on that. Yeah, there we go. I'm kind of close it back up and then we'll put it back in the cooler. Alrighty, let's get these cut up. I need my pan up here first. So. And this there. Get these cut. 
cut up and then I'll just put them in there when I'm ready. I don't think I'll need all four, but... Mm, that should be good. We'll just... Put those two together. We're just gonna make two burgers. Uh, we already got the cut fresh diced yellow onions. So we'll just put some of those in there. Add a little bit of this uh, natural seasoning blend to it. We're just going to use this for both the burgers and the mushrooms. So, I don't like how high this sits, so we might actually move it down. And, yeah, you know what? We're going to just. Okay. Yes, I know. And we'll just move you guys on over. Put you down. There we go. little water to it. Things been off some heat.
Okay, we can turn this down. Put them on plate. Buns out.
Got our swift, <coughs> swift cheese on. Add some of the onions and mushrooms. Right on top. All right, well, I'll be back once we get these on and done and presentation, I suppose. Well, there it is. Got our mushroom Swift burgers. We're gonna mow these down, some Doritos, Got our Gatorade, and then we're gonna sit back, hang out, watch some videos, and then, yeah, we'll go from there.